नमस्कार At that time, because he wanted to know past life, he eagerly, you know, so greedily and very urgently and uh, fanatically want to know the past lives. At that time, a demon from heaven sees the opportunity it has been waiting for. Okay, here Buddha always say heavens instead of heaven. Okay, I just sum them up in one heaven. Because in heavens, there are the heavens of 33 meaning there are 33 department separate heavens, yeah? And one of the king called Sakra, he's troublesome. He always makes trouble for the practitioners, yeah? He's worried about losing his power and his girls up there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has so many girls around. Maybe they don't have uh, physical desire or anything, or maybe not physical contact or anything, but maybe they satisfy in different way, you know, still some kind of uh, desires and pleasure. Mm. As I told you, in the astral world, there was 120 plus level mm, of different kind, and there are a level of hells, level of heaven, so-called heavens. Yes, but they always seek trouble with the the next heavens. <laughs> they fight sometimes. The Buddha sometimes uh, had reincarnated as the kings of heaven, yeah, and he sometimes had to lead his armies to go fight against the Asura, yeah. Imagine heaven still fighting. So how would we, the human, now have peace? It's a miracle, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not a miracle. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it is. Thank you, all of whoever helps. Thank you. So at that time, a demon of heaven sees maybe one of the 33 heavens uh, citizens or one of the astral heavenly citizens, okay? They are not saintly people. They are not just heavenly beings. They are troublemakers. <sighs> Too much power, nothing to do, <laughs> no goals, yeah? No Buddha had taught them, just demon teaching them, so they follow the way of demon, okay? That's why they don't know anything more. It's going to cause trouble and using their power for fun. Yeah. Okay. So he sees the opportunity it has been waiting for, it's for fun, you know what I mean? Making trouble for fun, they like that. His spirit possesses another person and uses him as a mouthpiece to expel the sutras and the teachings of the Buddhas, I guess. Yeah. This person, unaware that he is possessed by a demon, claims he has reached unsurpassed nirvana. When he comes to see that good person who seeks knowledge, he arranges a seat and explains the teaching. There in the assembly, inexplicably, that person may obtain an enormous precious pearl, you know, just suddenly a pearl manifests in his hand, something like that, or something else manifests, an object, uh, just from nowhere. Uh, like the precious pearl just appeared to him. He obtained it just like that. So the demon may sometimes change into an animal that holds the pearl or other jewels, bamboo tablets, talis, talismans, letters, and other unusual things in his mouth. The demon first gives the object to the person and afterwards possesses him. Or he may fool his audience by burying the object underground and then saying that a moonlight pearl is illuminating the place. You know, like he already hide the pearl or something, use his power to manifest the pearl and bury it under the ground and then, the, and then make that illuminate the whole place where he is speaking. Thereupon the audience feels they have obtained something unique, never seen before. Of course, suddenly the whole uh, place is shining like that. They've never seen that. So, or he may eat only medicinal herbs and not partake of any prepared normal food. Kind of what? 
breatharian or <laughs> Mediterranean <laughs> medicine. <laughs> yeah. Or he may eat only the sesame seed and one grain of wheat a day and still look robust, robust. Phew. Hmm? You, some of you want to eat this kind, want to have this power. I know. Stop it. Be normal. Hmm? <laughs> eat when you're hungry, sleep when you're tired. Meditate while you sleep. <laughs> try, okay? Try to keep awake. But don't override your body, okay? You need it to continue further. Because if you uh, ex exert too much power from the f a limited human body, then you might collapse, okay? Middle way, huh? Middle way. Mm. And that is because he is sustained by the power of the demon. Yeah. See? Demon can make you also footless, sleepless. <laughs> yeah? He slanders bhikkhus, mean monks, real monks, and scolds his assembly without fear of ridicule or rejection. Mean for no reason, just slander the bhikkhu and the, the Azos, the so called people, the audience, with no reason. He is uh, fond of talking about treasure troughs in other locations or of remote hidden places where sages and worthies of the Ten Directions dwell. Liar. Those who follow him often see strange and unusual people just lying. <laughs> he just manifests these kinds of things to make people believe in him. <laughs> this is a ghost or spirit of the mountain forest. Man, just a small ghost like that. <laughs> just a mountain forest ghost or earth or cities, rivers and mountains that in his old age has become a demon. The person it, it possesses may advocate promiscuity and violate the Buddha's precepts. He may covertly indulge in the five desires with his followers as well. Or he may appear to be vigorous, eating only wild plants. His behavior is erratic, and he disturbs and confuses the good person, you know, the one who meditates and wants more knowledge. What did he want? What does that person want? Yeah, seek more knowledge, yeah. Worldly knowledge or knowledge of alchemy? Yeah. Or maybe knowledge of how to turn uh, trees into people, people into trees. Uh, those kind of magic power knowledge, yeah? It's not good. But when the demons are tired of his game, he left the person body, then both the so-called disciple and teacher will fall into trouble with the law. You should be aware of this in advance and not get caught up in the cycle of transmigration. If you are confused and do not understand, you will fall into the relentless hells. All right, okay. We stop here, huh? I think uh, we're done for today. We should really thank the past masters, monks and nuns and scholars who have taken time to record the Buddha's teaching after the masters and Nirvana. And also for the past and present persons, lay or monks or nuns who have really dedicated themselves, sacrificed their time and precious health or under any difficult situation to translate this so that I can read it to you. And we have to thank them. And may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas, past, present and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you. So, at least the Buddha make it clear for us not to be so proud of our little achievements and just continue keeping humble, pure, yeah? and a moral person. <sighs> All right. Ich muss, ich muss gehen. I, I have to go. That's German. <laughs>
simple that I have to go. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Love you, Master. Thank you. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Thank you for the retreat, Master. You lose some fun, okay? I have to go and see uh, people upstairs. How are you? Very good. So okay, ma? Yeah. How's it going, ma? Yeah,对了，嗯，这样对了，是，也很高兴快乐，啊，有时候有一点点那个障碍一点，不过没关系啦，我们还是一路走的哈，一个过来一个过来，啊，感恩哥，感恩哥，女雅嘎，OK，感
Buddha power inside. We have heaven inside. And this power, we develop more and more. We remember more. We have it already. Just more remember by meditation. Then we can bless the world. More peace. Yeah? We have more peace now than before. Yeah? Korean peace. Yeah? Uh, Ethiopia, Eritrea, peace. Um, Syria is coming to peace. Uh, Colombia, peace. Uh, what other? And then yesterday, the day before, Ye Yemen, peace. You see, one, 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 keep coming. All the peace because we practice and we bless the world with our sincerity. <laughs> no matter what we believe, what we do, in a peaceful country is always good, right? Yes. Yeah. If no peace, cannot do much. No peace always is a worry, you know? We worry a bomb and gun and uh, oppression. So it's better to have peace all the time, anywhere. No peace cannot meditate also, yeah? Worry too much, right? So peace is good, good, good. And peace coming, coming, coming now. <laughs> I'm very happy. Are you happy? Yes. Good. Right, thank you. So continue practicing so we have more peace, yeah? More goodness, more compassion, more love between each other, between humans and animals and trees and plants and all beings in the world who, is, who are also helping us to elevate as well. Without the trees, without the ocean, we don't have oxygen, we cannot breathe, right? Cannot breathe. So, cannot breathe, cannot meditate, cannot live, cannot survive, cannot eat, cannot drink. So, we have to thank all of them. And the more we practice, the more we understand more, and we understand and we appreciate everything on this planet. They are helping us. So, we also try now to protect them. We protect the trees, protect the animals, even the fish, yeah, and protect the planet the river, the ocean, so everything have helped us. So we have oxygen, we have food. Yeah, the earth give us nutrition for the food. The sun, the air we breathe has been clean for us. The tree give us oxygen, the rivers give us water, the river, the lake, the rain give us water, and the ocean bring us also 50% oxygen. So we have to now in turn protect them. Yeah. The animals are helping us, yeah. The trees are helping us. Now we must protect them now. They have been protecting us all these hundreds, thousands of years. So we and our children, our father, mother, relative, friend can live and breathe and survive. And now they are in danger because of humans' pollution and not caring for the planet. So we must help them now. We, we are vegan. It's very big help. We also tell others to be vegan, to protect all living beings on this planet so that we can continue to, to live. Also, we return their kindness, yeah, in gratitude. Also, we uh, thank you for our children and grandchildren, great-grandchildren, because we have to protect the planet, the trees, the ocean, the river, not just for us, not for our children, our children, great-grandchildren, but because we learn now to be more compassionate, more loving and kind to all beings. And that is the only way we should be as human, a noble being, a protectors of the weak and the helpless, like animals and trees and plants. Understand, yeah? Yes. Mm. Okay, thank you and good night. <laughs> Who has to go home must go home because at home you have work. Yeah, you have work waiting for you. You have wives, you have husband, children, uh, father, mother to take care. And you also need to meditate well, but you cannot neglect your duty. Yeah, the parents need you. The children need you, a husband, wife need you. If you must go, if you have obligation, you should go, okay? 
if you're free financially and family wise, you can stay as long as the visa okay. Yeah. If you stay longer, then you are not good citizen. You make trouble for the government and for our our group. Okay. We must keep also our reputation. Huh? Mm. All right. I wish you a safe home trip if you're going home. Yeah. If you are not going home, I see you tomorrow in Sihu. Okay. Thank you.